So what is going on YouTube? Greetings from Pattaya Beach, Thailand. So the last time I was in Thailand was around three years ago. And at that time, I got together with a couple of my Thai friends and they helped me put together a video called 10 Things to Never Do in Thailand. And I thought about revisiting, redoing that, but then when I watched it, I'm like, you know what, this is actually pretty good. Maybe I'll just re-release it. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna release a previous video I did. It's only like five minutes called 10 Things You Should Never Do in Thailand. I think they all still hold up. Be warned, <laughs> that was three years ago when I first started YouTube. So I'm a little bit dry. I think I've improved <laughs> a little bit over that time. Let me know what you think. Have I improved? Also, if you have things that you think you shouldn't do in Thailand that I didn't include in this video, make sure you comment below. Without further ado, let's jump into that video. In today's video, we're gonna talk about 10 things you should never do in Thailand. What is going on YouTube? I've been traveling most of my life and one of the places I keep going back to and one of my favorite places is Thailand. I reached out to my Thai friends, Miao and Tan, and asked them if they'd help me put together a list of 10 things you should never do in Thailand. So if you don't mind, join me in thanking Tan and Miao and type down below, thanks Miao and thanks Tan. Okay, so the first thing you should never do in Thailand is never eat with a fork. One of the best things about Thailand is the food. And when you go to a restaurant or you go to a street vendor stall, they'll give you both a knife and a fork. However, you don't use the fork to eat your food. You use the fork to push food onto the spoon. The second thing you should never do in Thailand is never touch someone's head. The head is considered the cleanest and holiest part of the body in Thailand. So touching someone's head is considered a sign of disrespect. So never touch someone's head in Thailand. The third thing you should never do in Thailand is never use your feet for anything but walking. In Thailand, the feet are considered the lowest and dirtiest point of the body. Pointing your toes or the bottoms of your feet at someone or something is considered very impolite in Thailand. You should also never have your feet facing a Buddha, a temple, or a monk. The fourth thing you should never do in Thailand is never disrespect the royal family. The king and the royal family are very highly regarded in Thai society. It's considered very disrespectful to say anything negative or act in a negative way towards the royal family. Even if you drop a Thai coin on the ground and it starts to roll away from you, you should never step on it because it contains images of either the king or someone from the royal family. And remember what I said before, Thai find the feet dirty and offensive. So if you step on the coin, you're essentially stepping on the king. So make sure you remember this and just be respectful to the royal family. The fifth thing you should never do in Thailand is never take pictures with captured animals. We've all seen the pictures of people laying next to a tiger. Those tigers have a horrible life. If you're laying next to that tiger, odds are that tiger has been drugged. You'll also see people walking around with small, cute little animals like the loris. The loris is super cute and cuddly and you're gonna wanna go up and hold it and take a picture with it, but don't do that. Their teeth and their claws have been ripped out so they don't hurt tourists when tourists are holding them. It's very cruel. Just whatever you do, don't take a picture with a loris. The sixth thing you should never do in Thailand is never overstay your visa. Thailand is an amazing place and you're probably gonna wanna stay longer, but don't do it. Every day you stay longer than your visa permits, you get a $500 bot fine, and once you're caught, you could be banned from Thailand forever. So don't take that risk. Just go get your visa extended or leave the country for a day and come back in and you can get your visa reset. The seventh thing you should never do in Thailand is never wear your shoes indoors. This is a common rule in Southeast Asia and it's been in a lot of my other videos, but in addition to a Thai person's home, you should never wear your shoes in a temple and even sometimes in some restaurants and shops. A good rule of thumb is if you see a bunch of shoes outside the door of a place, then you should probably take your shoes off too before you enter. The eighth thing you should never do in Thailand is never whistle at night. 
Things like this are why I love doing these never do this videos. You find all kinds of crazy traditions and superstitions. Thai people believe that if you whistle at night, you'll summon evil spirits. So don't be surprised if you start whistling at night if a Thai person gets up and runs away from you. The ninth thing you should never do in Thailand is never try to shake somebody's hand. Thais are not big on physical contact with strangers, so consequently, they don't like to shake hands. Instead, Thais place their hands in a praying motion against their chest and they bow slightly. A little side note, do not bow to children or people much younger than you. This will just embarrass them. Thais have great respect for their elders. The 10th thing you should never do in Thailand comes up a lot in my videos, never take taxis. Just like other places where there are a lot of tourists, sometimes taxi cab drivers take advantage of those tourists. Luckily, technology has provided a workaround. There's an app called Grab, which is very similar to Uber. Grab actually bought out Uber in most of Southeast Asia. Just download that app and you can call taxis, you can call motorbikes, you can call almost anything, and it'll be super cheap. And you don't have to worry about somebody overcharging you. Okay, so those are the 10 things to never do in Thailand. Thanks again, Tan and Miao for helping out. If you have anything to add, make sure you comment below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you enjoy travel content like this, make sure you subscribe. See you next week.